Hi Gemini. Welcome to your reading, Gemini. Let's see what messages will show up for you. Let's see. I pre-shuffled your cards. So let's see what spirit wants you to know at this very time. What do we have for Gemini, please? For Gemini. For Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? We have nostalgia. So this is this energy of X. <laughs> Someone feels very nostalgic about you. you know, they are replaying certain memories like a cassette over and over again in their head. For some of you Geminis, you might feel nostalgic, nostalgic about your childhood or certain events from the past or just in general. We have celebrate, so we have fun, party, celebration events. You can expect that um, fairly soon that you will have a reason to be very happy about, okay? To be very happy. You can also, uh, I, feel, I feel that you can expect being invited to some sort of celebration, gathering. It can be anniversary, um, birthday party, or you will just decide to go, out, to go out and have some fun with your friends. Okay? But whatever that might be, Gemini, it will bring lots of happiness. I also strongly feel with this nostalgia card that someone here wants to reconcile Gemini. Because that gives me this three of cups energy, reconciliation, joy, happiness. Someone wants to uh, bring some sort of um, a joy and happiness to the situation. Someone wants to make amends from your past here, Gemini. We have music, so musician might be quite, uh, for some of you, musician might be quite significant. You might be, uh, you might be dealing with musician or someone who is into music. For a lot of you, I feel that maybe you are connecting for music with someone. You might be hearing uh, certain songs that reminds you of someone as well. There are signs uh, might be showing up through, through music. You might be receiving them through music. but it gives me a vibe so far all these three cards that someone here feels very nostalgic okay they are reminiscing about the past they are listening to your songs you know you might be very connected to music and for some of you you essentially might be going to some concert or some music events okay but let's see we have triggered and water sign okay so pisces cancer scorpio gemini might be quite important for your con for your situation okay or you might be having placements those placements in your chart we have triggered emotional provoke overthinking okay at the bottom of the deck we have a growth it is a sign, Gemini, that you outgrown certain situations and people in your life. And I feel that at the moment you are focusing on yourself. You know, you have some sort of goal. And you want here something to manifest, to come true. With the growth card, I feel very strongly that it's within re reach. You know, soon you will, you will gain some sort of knowledge and you will feel that, that the, you know, certain things are moving on or moving forward or there will be a right time to take a certain action with regards to your goal okay but with the triggered yeah there is something here Gemini that um, someone <laughs> that might you know triggering you or certain situation I strongly feel that again that someone here wants to make amends this is what I see and I feel that uh, if this person has been, you know, triggering you for some time or you had some sort of argument with them, it might be that individual or you were simply not at, on the same page with them. But let's see. Let's see what Tarot will tell us. It might be a water sign you're dealing with, Gemini. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh -huh. We have a Queen of Swords. Let's see. Uh, 
what else we have you might be dealing here Gemini with another Gemini Libra Aquarius but I feel that you are giving someone or something here called shoulder you are, you are embodying this energy of Queen of Swords she's putting aside feelings she's very methodical she is very rational logical and she she's basing her opinions and truth on facts and I feel that is someone here or something opened your eyes and you see the situation for what it is therefore I feel that overall there might be a situation here Gemini that you don't mind you know talk about this matter but people have to come come forward in the right way without any BS because you are not taking it anymore that's it done wow look at this we have an ace of cups gemini king of cups and ten of cups love it's showing up for you gemini and this is a new love ace of cups someone here wants to express their feelings with the king of cups we have this water sign pisces cancer scorpio someone who wants to be emotionally available and who has love for you with the ten of cups this is a relationship someone wants to uh, be given a chance to be with you Gemini to be in a relationship with you to build connection union with you with the ten of cups someone here Gemini is seeing you as as they happily ever after will clarify your cards but this is very nice ace of cups also shows that there will be opportunity Gemini for emotional fulfillment with many with regards to many areas of your life so I feel that you are attracting here good luck okay and good fortune with the ten of cups yes things will just be things will start working you know on your favor if you've been feeling that something here or you if you have been feeling stuck you can be reassured that something here will change drastically bringing enormous amount of fulfillment on emotional level you'll be here very happy about something Okay, we'll clarify your cut so we will know. We have a Knight of mm, Wands. It's got buttons here because it's a it's a different wording. And we have a Three of Swords. For some of you Gemini's, there was a situation, and you dealt with someone who've been very, very much in and out, hot and cold, immature, very impatient as well, and quite um, something here was unstable with this Knight of Wands because he can represent player with the three of swords there was uh i feel disappointment someone here essentially broke your heart it caused emotional pain and hurt with this three of swords and i strongly feel that this knight of wands created that sort of dynamic that that attitude you know uh, represented by this person We'll clarify these cards, but I strongly feel here, Gemini, that something made you feel very unhappy. But it's not just being, oh, you know, it, it really kind of, it really made you feel disappointed. Because Three of Swords, it's a heavy energy. It shows essentially that something here broke your heart. Knight of Wands. Yeah, that could have been some sort of communication, finding out about something, Gemini, with this energy as well. We have a Nine of pentacles nine of coins mm, this is this is um prosperity it also shows gemini that um if you are single i feel that um, for a lot of you gemini's i'm getting that you are okay at the moment you know being single because you might simply have time to focus on matters that they are very important for you at the moment it is like a um, healing time I'm getting here, especially next to the Three of Swords, to the Nine of Pentacles, because it seems that something indeed was very, very difficult and you are healing. And I feel for some of you, the form of healing is, uh, you know, focusing on yourself. Some of you, you, for some of you, you might be focusing on your um, finances, your work, or you are just enjoying time by your own. But Nine of Pentacles here, Gemini, it's showing that you can expect uh, some sort of uh, prosperity coming your way. Money, essentially. 
it will bring you uh, some sort of sense of security when it comes to your financial situation. Nine of Pentacles, it's a very good place to be when it, when, w with regards to finances. And we have, you know, here, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups. It shows uh, fulfillment, something that will make you feel incredibly happy on emotional level. And I feel that this Nine of Pentacles here, for, for some of you, I'm getting that it will be with regards to your financial situation. Okay. One more piece for Gemini and we'll clarify the, these cards. One more for Gemini, please, Spirit. Okay. Well, we have, uh, <laughs> we have two. Fair enough. We'll take those. So we have a king of king of pentacles, king of coins, and we have an ace of swords. Yes, this is stability, Gemini. You are attracting here stability. Look, we have two aces already. So there is some sort of form of new beginning. It's happening behind the scenes. With the ace of swords, I strongly feel that there might be a case, Gemini, that someone here wants to talk with you. Okay, they want to clear the air. Um, they want to express a certain truth, I mean, day truth, because you might see it, uh, you know, differently, of course. But Ace of Swords overall shows that uh, someone uh, wants communication, okay? Someone wants to talk, someone has a lot to say. And I feel also Gemini with this card next to King of Coins, King of Pentacles, I strongly feel that you can expect to be treated with fairness, especially when it comes to your work-related situation. There is a balance uh, coming into your situation. If you felt that something here, or you've been treated unfairly, or you felt that you deserve more and someone, for instance, didn't give it to you, or wasn't this, this, this thing presented to you, you can be reassured here, Gemini, that, that things, will balance, uh, things will get better and, and you can expect being treated with fairness, therefore, um, things will um, uh, things will balance themselves out. Yeah, I think that's the right way to say. But there is a there is justice, and and with the Ace of Swords, I feel, I mean, I feel I am getting here that Spirit wants you to know that you deserve justice, especially when it comes to uh, finances. And as an overall energy, really. As this cut is showing here and what I'm getting, uh, you deserve um, you deserve an explanation here. And someone wants to talk. Ace of Swords also brings enormous amount of clarity. Therefore, I feel that uh, there will be a conversation here, Gemini, and certain truths or something here will be revealed. And you will you will gain uh, maybe um, you will see maybe something from a different perspective as well. Okay, but I overall strongly feel Gemini, and it and it is very specific that uh, you you've been right at the very beginning about something. And Ace of Swords, it's showing here that you will just uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, but I'll say it in my very basic English, kind of reassured that you were right, if there is some sort of kind of element of doubt still attached to the certain situation. But we'll see. Okay, Gemini, let's clarify your cards. Why the Queen of Swords? Why the Queen of Swords for Gemini? We have a Seven of Swords. And we have a hermit energy. Yes, I feel um, the reason why you are um, embodying this energy of Queen of Swords is because you are sick and tired of lies and people being two-faced. Seven of Swords, it's that energy. Someone here was two-faced, lied, they had secrets, they treated you unfairly. And I feel that you, 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 you took a stand, you even now taking a stand and saying, that's it. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm done with that energy. With the Hermit, you might be dealing with Virgo here, Gemini. I feel that you are, you are um, approaching the situation 
from, um, from, from the place of, of being very calm and being very patient and also being very wise. So, you know, if we had, for instance, next to the seven of swords uh, energy of wands, I would say that, you know, you might be really angry about something or frustrated, but we have a hermit and also this is a major arcana. Therefore, I feel that you're aware of certain situation, uh, of certain people and their ways. It can be a case and that someone here did you wrong. And with the hermit, you're approaching it from the place of knowledge being calm and having a wisdom how to approach the situation, if there is a need to do that, of course. But the Seven of Swords shows that someone here treated you unfairly. Someone was unfair. They, they, you might even felt that someone tricked you or played you. That's why you are showing up as a Queen of Swords, as an energy of Queen of Swords. Because I feel that, um, you are open for communication, you know, if someone wants to come forward who, who caused the Seven of Swords energy and want to explain themselves or want to talk to you, yes, absolutely, but you, have, you are here in position of advantage with this Hermit and being this Queen of Swords because I feel that you went within, you thought about the situation very carefully and also I feel that you thought about how you would approach that matter if if this uh, situation will resurface again that's why you are here very uh yeah you, you i feel that you are putting aside your feelings and it's all about the facts and and i feel that facts speaking for themselves that someone here was unfair with the magician that's your energy as well gemini I feel that someone, it might be a case, tricked you, someone promised you something, someone, it might be a case for some of you that someone charmed you, but uh, they caused disappointment. And now you are saying, no, in, enough, it's enough. If you want to talk, yeah, please come forward, absolutely. But don't give me the BS. And I feel that also, Gemini, I'm getting here that there is something that you want to also express to this person, for some of you. It won't resonate with all of you. Uh, that, that kind of feeling that, oh, I want to also speak up my truth because I want you to know what I've been through, you know? For some of you, you just, you just left the situation long, long ago and you don't want to talk with this person. With the hermit energy, it might be a case, you know, you went within, you are aware of, of the situation and you're aware of the facts with regards to this matter. And if someone wants to talk, they can talk. But you also, I feel, for a lot of you, you are trying to detach from it. Mm -hmm. Gemini, this is a collective reading for your sign. Okay, so um, it might not fully resonate with you. I'm perfectly aware of that. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. There will be many stories because I want you to get the most from this reading. Okay, so, so and for m most of the time in those general readings, um, past is, is also, you know, has a tendency to, to show up because for the collective, it might be quite important to, uh, to talk about that past situation. And also it might have some sort of, hold some sort of influence uh, with regards to uh, current situation or, or, or future. Okay, but we'll be talking about your finances as, as you might notice in this, in, in, in this very, in the first part of the reading. Also love and just general about people and situations and matters, okay? Cross watches for Gemini, you are very much welcome, but it might play from your perspective, okay? So the roles can be switched. Okay, okay. And this is a reading for all, uh, for all placements in Gemini. I think that's how I should say it. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's see, let's see. What is this Ace of Cups? 
what is this ace of cups we have a knight of cups okay so more water for you gemini and chariot you might be dealing with cancer with the chariot five of swords at the bottom of the deck someone here wants to make amends gemini and indeed it can be a water sign because we have a cancer here represented by by, by the chariot card Pisces also Cancer Scorpio with the Knight of Cups someone feels very emotional about you someone wants to hear make amends apologize and they do want to have a new beginning in love with you why I'm saying that it's it's uh, they want to make amends because someone uh, who wants to have this new beginning with you Gemini was playing mind games with you with this five of swords and they want to uh, you can expect some sort of communication because chariot next to knight of cups shows action someone i feel will reach out here gemini and they will tell you that they might be thinking about the past they feel very nostalgic um you are heavily on their mind and and uh, is there a chance for instance for for both of you to reconcile or to have to meet up to talk about a certain emotional or you know romantic situation but here indeed someone wants to have a new beginning in love and this is someone who uh, you might felt that they played mind games with you okay all right let's see this king of cups and the ten of cups what is this energy please why the king of cups and ten of cups we have the hangman you might be dealing with pisces gemini okay we have a four of swords oh okay so here gemini you have someone here who is not making any move with the with the hanged man because i feel this person is aware that uh you are healing okay this is someone yeah we have an eight of swords this is someone gemini who feels um that at the moment they are blocked or they are kind of their actions are limited and this person is not taking again any action with the hanged man i feel this is someone who is observing you who knows about your situation or who knows certain things about your life especially when it comes to relationships or love related situation for some of you gemini it can be your friend confident someone who you trust but i'm getting here gemini that this king of cups this person wants relationship with you they dream about it but they i don't feel they do i don't feel they do they don't do uh, they are not taking any action with this hanged man they are just there and they and they do it on purpose and the purpose because hanged man he, he is there and he he hanged himself that for a reason there is a reason why he is in this position let's say it that way okay and i feel this person uh, is on purpose not taking any actions or he's in, or he maybe you might be dealing with a uh, masculine energy gemini it doesn't have to be but that's what came forward <laughs> I strongly feel here, Gemini, that this person is waiting for the right moment because with the Four of Swords, this is, again, this is someone who on purpose is not taking any action in order uh, for you to, to heal from a previous situation. <clears throat> I strongly feel here, Gemini, that someone sees you as their wish fulfillment, but uh, they might be seeing you also as, um, as a person who is now a kind of you know uh, taking your time taking break trying to relax trying to embrace this this energy of being single because you simply have time for yourself and for other things and but i can tell you here that in your energy for a lot of you i see someone gemini who is emotionally available and, and who sees you as a potential for emotional fulfillment potential or someone with whom they can build uh, happiness with this ten of cups this is this is this is union you know this is not just relationship but this is a union and connection where pe people feel um very good with each other or they feel very happy in each other's company there is a sense of belonging 
you have someone here who loves you gemini but i don't feel this person is is making i don't feel this person make themselves known or you might be even aware of their of their feelings towards you because eight of swords four of swords and the hanged man this is um very passive energy therefore i I'm seeing here that this person, they, they don't do much. They're doing anything here. They're just sitting and, and kind of, you know, observing you and waiting for a right moment to, to approach you. But with these cards, I strongly feel here, Gemini, that this person has good intentions. You know, this is someone who cares for you and who understands that uh, you might need time. Okay, firstly to kind of heal, to um, that this whole situation might need more time. And I feel this person is willing to wait. So you have someone here, Gemini, who is really interested in you, but I don't feel they are making any moves. With the hangman, uh, I feel that they will, okay, but not now because they simply feel that it's not a right time. Okay. Why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords for Gemini, please? Why the Three of Swords for Gemini, please? Okay. Of Pentacles, so we have a Three of Swords clarified by the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. So, for one thing, Gemini, you can expect um, some sort of um, wish fulfillment, okay, with the Nine of Cups. This is something Spirit wants you to know that uh, it recognized that you've been through a lot with this Three of Swords. And, and but at the end you will have something here will come true that you've wanted for a very long time and it seems and it looks like it is simply a reward from the universe because someone here put you in this free of souls energy I strongly feel uh, Gemini and I'm getting here with these two queens that this three of you know two three of swords clarified by the queen of cups and queen of pentacles here someone it might be a case that someone puts you in a third party situation and of course it doesn't have to be a person it can be job can be career someone might simply pr prioritize those 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 things over you at the time and you felt and it can you know show showing up in in a form of third party so it can be again career finances um uh, so for some of you it can be a relative a family it can be anything but uh, or anyone but with the queen with the two queens we already have too many people therefore i feel that for a lot of you it might be a case that someone here puts you in a third party situation and they simply directed their focus on someone else. With the Nine of Cups, I strongly feel, and this is what it is, that someone felt that, green, uh, that grass is greener on the other side. You are dealing here, or you might have been dealt with someone who is incredibly selfish, who has who, who been thinking only about themselves. And with the Four of Pentacles, this is uh, an individual who's very stubborn, who, who finds very difficult to compromise. Mm -hmm. And with the Five of Swords, this person played uh, mind games with you. They tricked you, they lied to you. You see, we have this Icarus here. I strongly feel Gemini that you've been promised something, like some sort of promise was made. But at the end of the day, this person didn't deliver and it was a massive, massive disappointment. I can tell you here one thing, Gemini, that uh, as, as I mentioned before, that someone here thought that the grass is green on the other side with the five of swords. That's why I wanted to cut the deck to see the overall energy for this, uh, for this uh, situation. We have the five of swords. Uh, this person feels um, they are not happy with, with their choice, Gemini. 
because Five of Swords shows that this person now is being played. This person is now disappointed. And the truth is that grass wasn't greener on the other side at all. This person was wrong. This person is getting their karma. The way they treated you, Gemini, here, it's how they are... Uh, how they how they are treated now or how they've been treated by this other individual essentially something here backfired okay they assume oh you know grass is green on the other side right nine of cups they saw the situation that way and five of swords is saying mm -mm. no you were wrong and that thing, it's backfired at them, Gemini. They are getting five of swords. So someone is playing now with them or playing mind games with them. Uh, there is this massive disappointment when it comes to this person's choice. And you will be here rewarded with the wish. Mm hmm Let's see, Gemini, what is this nine of coins and king of coins? You might be dealing with Virgo. I have strong Virgo. I also have Taurus. Okay. So we have a three of pentacles, so more pentacle energy. We have the full, okay, oh, we have a seven of pentacles, so more pentacle energy. So nine of pentacles and king of pentacles here, Gemini, is clarified by the three of pentacles and the full. So you might be dealing with Aries. I also have Aquarius energy. Gemini, you will have opportunity here uh, for a new beginning or to approach something in a different way or with a different... Um, energy or circumstances might have changed and it will bring you uh, stability financial stability I strongly feel here Gemini with the three of Pentacles that your work related situation will look really really good with the full I feel that for some of you if you've been uh, looking for job you can expect to receive a very very good job offer here Gemini where there will be sense of, you know, um, with, it will give you a financial security with the Nine of Pentacles. I also strongly feel that it will give you a more financial freedom. With the Three of Pentacles, there will be sense of people will be very collaborate, collaborative. Collaborative? <laughs> they would want to collaborate. They will be easy to, to kind of work with, okay? They would not create any problems or dramas or... Or it won't be that kind of heavy energy that might sometimes might be present at work relate you know at, at workplace with the three of uh, pentacles it shows that you're you'll be in an environment if you are looking for a new job and the reason why I'm saying is because we have full so this is a new energy new beginning um, what I was saying sorry okay so with the three of pentacles I feel that uh, you will you will be listening. Uh, your ideas will be taken into consideration, and uh, people uh, will want it to be a team player. Okay, because three of pentacles is this energy of collaboration, being a team, and working together towards one goal. Okay, but either way, with the seven of pentacles. If that's indeed the case that you are looking for a new job it will be a long-term situation okay which will give you uh, stability because this is money this is stability when it comes to uh, 3d so money career um, material situation work related matter for some of you Gemini I also feel that you might choose to uh, be independent right so with the nine of pentacles and king of pentacles it also shows that you might decide that you want to be your own boss and with the three of pentacles 
Yes, I feel that you know there is a chance for you to um, to be quite successful, but with the seven of pentacles, uh, please be aware that something that if you decided to, for instance, go and be independent or freelance or something of this kind, be your own boss or working on your own uh, terms, uh, it might um, this whole situation in order to see a certain profits, it might take some time. So therefore. It might require from you being patient because seven of pentacles is this energy of putting seeds and waiting and 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 uh, caring for them in order to see the fruition of a certain goal idea and project therefore spirit is saying that yes there is a chance for you to be very successful uh, when with regards to this endeavor but with the seven of pentacles you might not see um, fairly quickly, uh, you know, results. You might have to, uh, desired results, let's say it that way. You might have to wait a little bit longer. For 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 you, for some of you Gemini's who 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 are in a in a work, you know, at your if you are happy with your work related situation, it shows that you will be given here possibility and a opportunity to shine. Because the Three of Pentacles shows that you might be uh, involved in some sort of project, but either way, I strongly feel with the Three of Pentacles that you will you can expect some sort of recognition and, and acknowledgement for your hard work and dedication. Okay, so this is very, very, very nice, very lovely energy. Two of Swords wanted to show up. Yeah. I feel with the Two of Swords, Gemini, I feel that there is something that you might be kind of contemplating about. It's just as an as an energy that wanted to show up. It shows that for for some of you, you you might feel you might you might be facing a certain choice decision, or you might be at the crossroads. So it's like a side message. Let's see this Ace of Swords. Why the Ace of Swords? We have a Six of Swords. Okay. And we have the moon. So clarity, it's coming here, Gemini. Wow, we have a nine of cups at the bottom of the deck, which I love for you very, very much. So ace of swords shows, as we were talking before, that someone here wants to talk, someone wants to ex explain something. I strongly feel, Gemini, with the moon you might be dealing with Pisces, I strongly feel that if there is something indeed that you might have, you might be doubting or you might be unsure, or there is something that still is not quite you might get because I feel that you possess a certain amount of clarity about certain situation but you might feel that there is still something that you might not be quite sure about spirit it's saying with the moon and with the six of swords uh, that you will gain clarity something here will be communicated to you or you will have a certain conversation with someone and you will gain understanding about this matter that you might still have some sort of doubt and with the Six of Swords, it will allow you to detach, to kind of, to kind of make peace with it, or to just, you know, to kind of leave it. It it essentially shows, it's, it's essentially showing that certain matter will will be resolved, and and you will be able to detach from it, especially when it comes to your um, emotional. Um, on emotional level I feel you'll be able to detach on emotional level and also with the six of swords it shows that if something has been playing if this matter has been playing on your mind for a long time you 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 will be able to detach from it also on, on intellectual level you know what I mean rational um, kind of your mind will be kind of you will not think about it anymore mm -hmm. so that's very nice and as an overall energy here, Gemini, we have a Nine of Cups. So this is a wish fulfillment card. Okay, something here will make you very, very happy. Something I feel that you might have been dreaming about or you might be um, trying to accomplish. You can be reassured that something here will make you very happy with the Nine of Cups. You will gain a personal satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness therefore when I got this celebration card there will be indeed a reason Gemini for you to 
to, to be happy about something and you will have a reason to celebrate because Nine of Cups shows that uh, you'll achieve a personal satisfaction. So you'll be very happy about something and something for, that you might have been planning or you've tried to accomplish. Uh, you can be reassured here, Gemini, that this thing um, will come true, bringing you happiness and joy. Okay. I would leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. Once again, Gemini, thank you so very much for your time. Thank you, Gemini. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.